Welcome to Worldwide Rides, this time with the all new Škoda Octavia RS or VRS. This is what the key looks like, pretty modern. Let's open up the car, but um, let's have a look at that from behind because I particularly like the all new backlights. Haha, <laughs> have you seen that? This looks really cool. Kind of a special thing is that we don't have the station wagon. Uh, we actually have the limousine. 245 horsepower and uh, 380 newton meters of torque. And of course, as you have seen, we have the all new Skoda crystal lighting. These are full matrix LED headlights. Let's have a look at the interior. This is what it looks like inside. All new steering wheel. Look at these beautiful RS seats. And of course, since this is a Skoda and simply clever is clever, <laughs> plenty of room in the back and the back seats look very good as well. So um, yeah, I like all the Alcantara here in the doors, but without further ado, let's jump in. So, you can have a detailed look at the all-new steering wheel here in the RS models. You have a three-spoke steering wheel, not like in the normal Octavia models, which I like. And uh, yeah, let's close the door. All right, little VRS graphic in the dashboard. And... Uh, Let's take it for a ride. At first, start it up and um, listen to the sound that this car makes. <laughs> Did you hear that? That little rumble? All the sounds that you hear, or nearly all the sounds that you hear in this car that sound like engine sounds are, sorry to say, fake <laughs> but um, I think they sound pretty good they sound very angry and uh, I like it at first we switch the driving mode to sport you have echo comfort normal and sport we will start in sport and uh, let's give it some revs So, unfortunately, you hear almost nothing from the outside, which is, I don't like that very much. <laughs> Let's say it like that. like about the all new Octavia not only this RS model in particular is the big center screen the system on here runs very fluently and it feels like it's running even more fluent than for example in the all new Golf 8 <laughs> by the way if you want to see a POV drive of the all new Golf 8 click in the top right corner of this video to jump directly to the Golf 8 POV drive One thing that works really well here in the all-new Octavia RS is the head-up display. It's very sharp, it's very bright. You see everything that you need to know. Your cruise control speed, the speed you're allowed to go and the speed you're currently going and then you get some information according your assistance systems like the lane keeping assist and things like that. Very, very cool. So. For now, we will switch back the driving mode to comfort and listen to that difference. Wow, it's so much quieter in here. Because, as I said before, most of the sound that you hear in this car is artificial. Ah, what a pity. Let's 
let's have a look at the all new virtual cockpit here in the Octavia RS. What you can see now is the view for all the assistance systems with the big travel assist, the new travel assist like in the Passat or in the Golf 8. As you can see there is no vehicle in front of me. Here is the big map. Now you can see where we are driving. <laughs> this is the, yeah, the minimalistic dials. Here are some sportier dials with the RPM on the top. And back to the classic dials. I like them the most. By the way, if you change the look of your digital cockpit, the head-up display will not change. So let's switch back the driving mode to sport because, I mean, this is an RS model. And listen to this sound generator. Feel free to write a comment how you like the sound of this, yeah, artificial sound generator. I think it sounds pretty good. It does not try to be like a V8 or a V10 or something like this. It just sounds, yeah, the, hard to describe. It sounds good, it sounds very full, but in some moments, like when I'm driving in the city like this, I think it's a little bit too loud. Let's uh, drive a corner a little bit quicker. We are still obeying the law, 48 kilometers per hour. Yeah, you can definitely feel that you are riding an RS model because when you switch the driving mode from comfort to sport all the dampers stiffen up tighten up because we have the DCC the dynamic chassis control here in this car so everything gets a little stiffer sportier harder the steering gets a little more direct it the car overall the car feels surprisingly light I have to say it feels as if the all-new Octavia RS is um, smaller than it actually is So here on the red light I want to show you something that I really really don't like. This is an RS model and in an RS model it actually can happen that I want to turn off the stability control or at least put it into sports mode. But there is no dedicated button to do this. If I want to do this I have two possibilities. Number one. I have to scroll through all these systems and then find the ESC off button or I have to configure this system so that this ESC off or ESC sport mode button will appear up here. As standard, this is not there and I just don't understand that because I mean this wants to be a sporty car, it wants to be a competitor, a competitor to the all new Golf GTI and uh, I can't understand why you get rid of the ESC off button. Why, Skoda, why? I mean, Volkswagen is doing this too with the all-new Golf 8, but uh, I don't understand that. So, now that we are heading towards the Autobahn, let's put the ESC system into Sport. Okay, driving mode is sport and let's have a little spin on the autobahn.
this is kicked down 130 don't be this guy driving in the middle lane all the time thank you very much BMW 190 oh we will try this again one second <laughs> stability controls active okay so that's it this is the all-new Skoda Octavia RS I hope you liked it if you liked it then feel free to comment down below if you want to see more videos at night time do you like this format do you want me to explain the cars to you or just to be silent feel free to write it down in the comments i would really like that and if you did then i hope we'll see you in the next video bye